I mean, you and Common make the cutest couple ever. Thank you. Looks like we got confirmation, guys. Jennifer Hudson and Common are a couple. Or at least we didn't get a denial. Rumors say a lot of things. <laughs> but he's a beautiful man, I will give you that. And I know most of y'all are already rolling your eyes, thinking that their relationship is doomed to fail because of the hot mess that is both Common and Jennifer Hudson. And in case you were wondering, they did try their best to keep the relationship as private as possible because they knew that they were gonna catch a lot of heat from the internet. Like Jennifer denied the dating rumors, even telling Entertainment Tonight, people create their narratives of it. And it's like, okay, you know how you feel. We shot a film together and he played my husband. We gotta eat in between those moments. Well, so says you, Miss Hudson, because by March 2023, it was pretty evident that something was going on, with Jennifer even celebrating Common's 51st birthday with a photo of them posing together where his arm appeared to be around her. In July, they also traveled together to London for a date to watch the musical A Strange Loop. And according to sources, they arrived at the show individually to avoid any commotion and to stay away from prying eyes. But they were very much in each other's company after that. You know, just like Jennifer, Common has also tried not to say anything directly, but we see what's happening. Oh yeah, we see everything. Well, I'll say, speaking of Chicago, she's a Chicago and this uh, amazing human being. I've always been like inspired by her. She's one of the most beautiful people I ever met on the planet. Mm. Incredible heart. Um, and she's just dope, man. It's like now, I don't deny that both Jennifer and Common are two very beautiful humans, but whatever they are having could potentially be a beautiful hot mess. Like, hasn't Jennifer heard the things Common himself has said about being in a relationship? Because let's be real, he has been called a bright red flag. I obviously care for the, the person, because I didn't, I wouldn't just be like, I'm love addicted to anybody, but I care for the person, but when things got when things got tough and it's time to work through stuff, I wasn't willing to work through it. And we can already guess how it's going to end because we've all seen how Common has behaved with other women. I mean, he literally cannot keep a woman because he only loves the feeling of being in love, but not the commitment that comes with it. And then he dips when things start getting serious. The pattern I found myself in and what was called love addiction, when my therapist broke it down, was, was like that feeling of being like, oh, I'm in love. and. And this that honeymoon period that people call it, I was addicted to that feeling. And in case you are wondering how his past relationships turned out, let me just give you a rundown of some of his messy relationships so you understand how toxic he can really be. And I'm saying a few because there are plenty more. Okay, Common's very first relationship was with Kim Jones and they even had a daughter together, but they split when their daughter was just a year old. Not much is known about what went down between the two of them, but in his 2019 memoir, Let Love Have the Last Word, Common said that he learned that his daughter felt like he didn't try hard enough to be involved in her life. And he admitted that those feelings might have been due to complications surrounding his breakup with Kim. After Kim, Common moved on to Erica Badu. And that was another hot mess. According to Common, Erica was his first true love. And he is one of the people who admitted that whatever y'all say about the Badu box is a real. He told Double XL Magazine, yeah, the Badu box is real. It can take you to another universe. But seriously, that's when you meet somebody that's real special and you're like man this woman got she got something else man it ain't just the set it ain't just the looks it's like something that's kind of like spirit wise where you're like this woman got something else i still don't get it not sure what caused their breakup but fans believe it's because neither of them wanted to settle but years later erica has only said nice things about common but it's you know me and common are still very close too yeah. he's really sweet he's uh the most compassionate human being I've ever met, I think. Honestly, I don't know how, but Common is always bagging the strong, successful women. Because after Erica, his next catch was the very talented Taraji P. Henson. See, Taraji, a, a, she's a good woman. Just yeah. even from what she just said, just yeah. she like, man, I gotta t take in consideration with my son. So I wish, you know, I like a, wo a woman that thinks like that. Taraji actually really liked Common. And for her to have introduced her son to him, it really meant that she was in it for the long run. Common was the last real long-term relationship I had. After really? that, I was like, I don't want, because my son was sad. Mm -hmm. He was sad when we broke up. 
Mm. It affected him. But just like every other relationship, when things started getting more serious, Common jumped. Well, he still managed to get another strong, successful black woman, Serena Williams. Serena and Common possibly started dating after she appeared in the music video for Common's song, I Want You. But in 2010, they broke up, with sources saying that Serena was the one who initiated the split. Sources say she saw Common for who he really was, but that didn't stop Common from saying the most beautiful things about Serena years later. Um, we got a great understanding and I care about her as a person. You know, it's not like every person you talk to every other day, but you know, you still have that respect and you have love for them and want to see them do well. After Serena, the next person on Common's list was Angela Rye, and he had one of the messiest relationships with her. That's, <laughs> that's a definite um, connection with Angela Rye. She's a wonderful woman. And you know, I'm just, I'll just say I'm dating, I'm happy right now. Well, they broke up, got back together, and broke up again. And the reason Angela gave for the breakup was that Common did not want to have children. She said during a podcast that the realization came after she told Common she was going to take her godson around more often. According to Angela, she told him she was interested in having children. But Common's response was, I don't know. Yeah, he probably said that to avoid hurting her feelings, but Angela knew for sure, and she left. Then, Common moved on to Tiffany Haddish, who said that the relationship she had with Common was hands down the best she had ever had. And she said that if Common ever proposed, she'd want him to do so with an apartment building. There was only one problem. Common had no intention of of proposing to Tiffany. Clearly, he was still not ready to settle down, and after the breakup, Tiffany admitted that she missed Common from time to time. I'm fine with it. It's gonna be new opportunities. I miss him. I miss him from time to time, but that's what any, I think with any relationship, an intimate relationship that you might have, you miss them, but I'm fine with it. However, Tiffany also said that when she was dating Common, she realized that he might not be the type of person who'd ever want to settle down. He might be the type of person that never like really settles with somebody. Maybe he's like a, you know, he's like a bee going from flower to flower to flower. I don't know. I wish him nothing but joy and happiness. So is Jennifer sure that this is the man she wants? Someone who is not sure if he ever wants to settle down or have a family? The only way it would make sense to me is if Jennifer probably wants the same thing. But if she's looking for something else, this is another relationship that will end in tears. Maybe. I'm already living for the reactions on social media, with several people saying that all of Common's relationships seem so random, short-lived, mismatched, and lacking any real chemistry. And Stories about him being on the DL are also running wild. I'm not trying to say that he's one of those on the DL myself, but if that's the case, he's gonna run out of beers in the community if he continues with this trend. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts on this relationship. Is Jennifer simply wasting her time with Common, or does she probably want the same thing he wants? Also, is it possible that Common is hiding something about his life with all these relationships? Or do you believe there could be something long-term between Common and Jennifer. Let me know what you think in the comments section below.